Hey everyone, welcome to the Solid Tutorials YouTube channel. In today's video, we're diving into a complete step-by-step -step guide for editing with Wondershare Filmora 14. Whether you're a beginner or more advanced, this full course covers everything you need to know from A to Z. We'll go over all the features and tools for professional video editing, and I'll share some advanced tips, tricks, and techniques to help you get the most out of Filmora 14. We've really gone deep in this tutorial, you won't believe how detailed we've gotten. From AI-powered tools to all the other editing features, we'll walk you through everything in a simple, easy-to-follow way. This course is broken down into 20 chapters, so you'll get a comprehensive understanding of the software. We're diving straight into Chapter 8. In this chapter, we'll explore some essential audio tools. In this chapter, we'll cover all of the topics you see listed on the screen right now. I've also included the timestamps for each section in the description below. So let's get started. First, let's learn how to use the audio mixer. I already have some video and audio files on the timeline, and these video clips also contain audio. audio. Rimuovere rumore indesiderato. Click on the audio mixer tool in the toolbar. Here you can adjust the volume of individual clips using these sliders. You can also balance the audio from left to right by moving these sliders. Rimuovere rumore indesiderato e aggiungere musica di grado professionale ed effetti sonori. Alternatively, you can adjust the stereo positioning by dragging the icons in the stereo section. If you want to adjust the volume for all clips at once, use the main mixer slider on the right. Moving it up increases the volume, and moving it down decreases it. Then, click on the surround section, where you can fine-tune the balance of all audio tracks. Once you're happy with the settings, click Apply to save your changes. To control the speaker volume, use the slider below the preview screen. Keep in mind that this only affects playback volume and doesn't change the actual audio levels in your project. You can also toggle the volume meter on or off with a single click. Additionally, you can adjust the volume of an audio track directly from the timeline using the volume slider above the waveform. Now, let's remove vocals from a music track using the AI Vocal Remover tool. Filmora 14's vocal removal feature allows you to easily isolate or remove vocals from audio tracks. This advanced tool separates audio into three distinct tracks, music, vocals, and the original track, giving you precise control over your audio editing. I'll start by dragging and dropping a video onto the timeline that contains both music and vocals. Then right-click the video and select AI Vocal Remover. The tool will automatically process the file and separate the vocal and music into two different tracks. Once that's done, I'll mute the original audio track of the video, leaving only the separate vocal and music tracks. If I mute the vocal track, you'll only hear the background music. And if I mute the music track, you'll only hear the vocals. Filmora 14's vocal removal feature allows you to easily isolate or remove vocals from audio tracks. This advanced tool separates audio. This feature is perfect for remixing music or extracting dialogue from videos. Now let's talk about the auto synchronization feature. Filmora 14's synchronization feature allows you to easily align audio and video tracks, ensuring seamless playback. This feature automatically adjusts the timing of audio and video files, eliminating manual adjustments. I'll start by dragging a video onto the timeline. I also have a separate audio clip that contains the same sound as the video's original audio. Filmora 14's synchronization feature allows you to easily align audio. I'll drag this onto the timeline as well. To easily align audio and video tracks, ensuring seamless playback. At first you'll notice that the audio and video tracks don't align. To sync them, select both the video and the external audio, then right-click and choose Auto Synchronization. Filmora will automatically align the audio and video for you. Filmora 14 synchronization feature. Once synced, I prefer to mute the original video's audio and use the external audio as the primary source. Tracks, ensuring seamless playback. This is especially useful when recording with an external microphone. If needed, I can also mute the external audio and unmute the video's original sound. This feature automatically adjusts the timing of audio. Either way, the tracks stay perfectly in sync. This tool has been incredibly useful for me, and I'm sure you'll find it just as handy. Manual adjustments. Stay tuned for more chapters.